Hello everyone. Now today I thought we will we will learn about if, elif, and else statements. So like in the previous video, I created a notebook for you guys if you are stuck on this topic, and it also comes with some practice questions that you can go through and some space for practice as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump onto our Jupyter notebook. Okay. So I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show the notebook because you will have a rough idea on what it's on anyway. So let's go ahead and just get straight to what we are going to do. Okay, so here is my Jupyter notebook, and I will. So what if elif and else statements are? They are conditional statements, and what conditional statements do is it. it what a conditional statement does it lets our Python interpreter. To, it lets our Python interpreter know that we want to perform different actions based on a certain set of results. So basically, if you want to think about it more simply, you can say we're telling the computer to say, um, "Hey, if this happens, print this out. Otherwise, you need to print this out." Okay. So let me show you a really simple example of this. Okay. So I'm going to say. If so, no capital letters for this one. If true, okay. So booleans are a very important part in if elif and else statements. Well, it depends actually, but let's just think of that for now because that's I'm going to use these mainly in this video. So if true colon and then notice when I enter. There's an indent over here, so it indents for us, so it will be part of this if statement. Otherwise, if we do it over here, it will produce an error. So let me show you that now. So if true, so what I'm saying, if true, you need to print. Um, I am true. Okay. So let's try this. There we go. You've got an indentation error. Expected an indent block, so let's indent this. So you can just press tab. Otherwise, if you press space, it this print statement will come out red. So just press tab, and there we go. You've got a nice indent for you there, and it says I am true. So what I'm trying to say is, if the statement is true, you need to print I am true. So I didn't add anything like. If false after it, so it will only print out this condition because I defined that o that was the only condition that was defined. Okay, so let me add in some logic, and this I'll add in some else logic this time. So now I will use the variable. I will use the conditional statement else. So let me show you this. If true, so the same sta same statement as last time. Print. I am true, and now I'm saying else, or you can think it as otherwise. Else, so you don't need to write any conditions after otherwise, because we all know the opposite of true is false. So basically, it just gives the other condition that is left. Okay. So I'm going to write else, or if false, you can think as it as. Um, print. I am false. Okay, so let me run this, and there we go. It says I am true. Okay, because wait, so I'm just going to. Sorry, I. You need to define a variable for this one this time because I define two conditions. So I'm going to say, um. Uh, if condition equals true, okay. If C, and now I'm going to put that condition, uh, that um comparison operator. So remember from the previous video, instead of putting like a variable equal sign. Put this kind of equal sign, okay? So if c equals true, 
print I am true. So now let's change C to false. Okay, I am false. So if I try to put the string true, it will give me false because it isn't equal to true. So it'll just give the opposite of true. Okay, because true is a string and that is different to the actual comparison comparison operator okay okay so these are this one is the one that only uses if and this one has some else logic thrown in it now let's go on to um a more complex one with multiple branches okay so i'm going to define a variable called lock so loc because I'm making it short for location. So now instead of putting a boolean, I can I'm putting a string. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you put a boolean or a string, but some people like to use booleans and some people like to use strings. Okay, so I'm going to say lock equals bank because my location is set to bank. Okay, so I'm going to add if um lock and remember, I'm going to put two equals because I am trying to say if this location is equal to this. So not as a variable, as a comparison operator. So if the location is equal to, um, let's say, garage, let's say, print welcome to the garage okay so i'm saying if the location is equal to garage okay so we need to always put that as a string otherwise python interpreter won't understand it i want to print this okay so print welcome to the garage OK, and now instead of only two conditions, I have three. So instead of putting another if, I will put L if. So short for else if. So L if lock. So you need to write something after L if equals, um, let's say, park, let's say, print parks are fun and now this is my last condition so i will type in else now because it's my last condition so it will know that this will be my last condition okay so else print so if it isn't if it isn't garage and it isn't park then i want you want you to print i haven't been there before okay so whoops what happened here oh okay we need to put double quotation marks sorry I haven't been there before. Okay. So remember guys, you need to put double quotation marks if you want to apostrophe. Okay. <laughs> so now what I was trying to say is if the location, which is this variable equals garage and it isn't equal to garage, print welcome to the garage, elif, so else if the location is equal to the park, then print parks are fun. Else, if it isn't garage or park, then print I haven't been there before. Okay. So if you want the variable to be lowercase, but the user inputs it in um, uppercase, let me show you a nice trick. So if location equals um, garage dot lower
wait no if locate if location dot lower so what i'm trying to say here is if the location equals to garage then what our compute if location dot lower equals to garage um and since you can see this our garage thing uh, uh this string has will have will be converted into lowercase because i wanted the location to be converted into lowercase so our computer will understand so let me change all of these to lowercase and i'm going to type in dot lower and yes so if location dot lower equals the garage da 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 if location dot lower equals the park da 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 okay so i'm sure you understand it i haven't been there before because i um garage and park are not i did not define garage or park so it just came up with um it just came up with i haven't been there before so let me type in garage welcome to the garage okay so this time i'm going to type it in uppercase welcome to the garage so as you see the dot lower function worked for us okay so let's try park this time parks are fun because they are okay so let's try a few examples on this one because these two aren't really seen that often so let's practice this one more okay so let me say let me define another variable so i'm going to say person equals to sammy and then i'm going to say if whoops keep your code really nice and clear okay if person equal to um sammy so let me say if person dot lower this time because some people put it in uppercase like that so if person dot lower equals to equals to sammy then print hello sammy Oops. <laughs> how are you okay hello sammy how are you now let me put down a live person dot lower equals to george print hello george how are you okay so now we're coming to our last statement okay so now i'm saying if the person is not equal to Sammy or George, then print else print do I know you. Okay, so now I'm saying the person is equal to Sammy. So if the person, so if the person converted to lowercase equals to sammy then print hello sammy how are you 
Else, if the person converted to lowercase is equal to George, then print, hello George, how are you? Else, print, do I know you? Okay, so let me run this. Hello Sammy, how are you? So now let's put this as George. Hello George, how are you? And let, now I will put um, uh, Sophie, do I know you? Okay, so these kind of statements will come in handy. Okay, so let me define one more operator that you can use. Okay, now that is a not operator. Okay, so let me show you what it does. So I'm going to say, um, I am going to say, dog equals to yes, cat equals to no. Okay. Now, the operator I will introduce is the not operator. So, I, will, I am going to say, if, whoops, don't put strings if you're using not operator, okay? So, dog equals to true and cat equals to false. So, if dog if not dog so i'm telling the computer now to do the opposite so if not true print i i do not have a dog and now I'm saying elif cat elif not cat print I do not have a cat okay and now our final else statement else print i do not have a cat or dog okay so i said if not dog so i said dog to true so this will be false now so if false print i do not have a dog elif not cat print i do not have a i do not have a cat sorry i need to change that to i do have a cat because i said elif not cat and cat was false okay so it says it prints out the opposite okay so cat equals to false in our variable and now our computer changed it to true so i do have a cat and now i will set both to true because i want because it will give out false print i do not have a cat or dog because can you see when i when dog is set to true it sets it to false so i do not so i do have a dog is not displayed okay so when i change this to true this is set to false so i do have a cat is not displayed anymore and it says i do not have a cat or a dog okay so there is also one more operator we can use and that is the or operator so let me define another one over here so i will say elif again elif cat 
ओ टॉक प्रिंट सो इफ कैट और सो एलिफ कैट और डॉग इक्वल्स टू ट्रू प्रिंट आई हैव ए कैट एंड ए डॉग ओके सो नाउ यू सी व्हाट विल हैपन आई हैव ए कैट एंड अ डॉग ओके सो इफ यू वुड लाइक आफ्टर everything you can say print so don't indent it hello pets are nice in my opinion so i have a cat and cat and a dog pets are nice so it prints after because it isn't part of this statement so it'll just print it anyway So this is all the logic you need to know on if elif and else statements but make sure you practice cuz these statements are really hard sometimes so you need to have a really good knowledge on them okay so this is all you need to know on if elif and else statements make sure to check the practice notebook if you are if you are stuck and please subscribe to my channel for updates and i guess that's it bye